stage the extraordinary Catherine Ryan. Hello. Oh, thank you so much for being here. Welcome to Comedy Up Late, or early if you're a small baby. Um, I come, I, you might be a small baby. I come uh, from a faraway land called Canada. No one's heard of it. Um, it's very cold, and my friends get eaten by wildlife too. So we have that in common, but I love being here. You've been so kind, um, and I love Australian women. Look at you, look at you, especially gorgeous, glam. Give me a cheer if you're proud to be an Australian woman. Some of them are not sure. <laughs> and I said, cheer, not applause, babe, but well done, good try. <laughs> I'll take it. I want to be more like you, Australian women, and less Canadian, blah. So uh, I have stopped saying hi to strangers. I have started uh, getting drunk and fucking them because I see you doing that and it looks like so much fun. I've been super busy, super busy with that. No, um, I'm a mom, as you can tell. Uh, from my language, and my daughter is adorable. She's here in Australia as well. She was planned poorly, so goddamn poorly, because her father and I are not together anymore, but we are still really good friends. Is a lie I tell to protect her. We are not, no, 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 no. Obviously not, no, not even a little bit of friends. Um, but he is a man I loved once. He will always be her dad, no matter what. I can't change that, I've tried. <laughs> For that reason, I shall never say a bad word about him. Does make it very difficult for me to describe him to you. <laughs> Don't you worry about it, I got this. He is Oscar Pistorius with legs. That works. Does that work perfectly? Yeah, he is. Yeah. Yes, you're right. By that, I mean he is an innocent hero. <laughs> My parents are divorced. Um, and when your parents are divorced, you have to date them. They're together, you leave them at home, you see them on the holidays. They're apart, you have to take them out in public and spend equal amounts of time with two people who messed you up. And that's fine with my mom, that's a nice time. With my father though, it looks like we're dating. <laughs> I'm at that weird age with my father where it absolutely looks like we're dating, or I'm a hooker. <laughs> like, from a very niche escort agency, go fuck yourself, because we look exactly the same. Um, <laughs> for the special perverted narcissist. And I know, I know what the waitresses are saying because they will come over and they're kind of like shy about it and they'll ask whether or not I'm my dad's girlfriend. I'll be like, would you like another glass of wine for your, for your girlfriend? <laughs> Except in Polish, because that's where I um, Just kidding. Jokes, Polish people do not laugh, it's not possible, but they, they are waitresses in England where I live now. And my dad is Irish, my dad gets very upset. He's a feminist, he's like, now you listen to me, that's me daughter. And I reckon I could do a lot better than her. And he can, and he has, and he will again. I'm single and I'm not sad about it. I'm 31, do we have anyone over the age of 30? A few, big mistake. You should have killed yourself five years ago. That's what I learned. <laughs> you're not supposed to be over 30 if you're a woman. Uh, I recently went home with a 25 year old and it was weird, right? I've not been with a 25 year old since I was 14. So it's strange. <laughs> it's inappropriate. People think that I'm angry because I'm not sexy. Ah, I could be sexy. If you like nights in and a smart mouth, no one does. Um, <laughs> I just want girls, women, men, everyone to be sexy like it's their own idea. Is that too much to ask, right? I think Beyonce is very sexy. Beyonce makes motherhood, monogamy, and power look really sexy. And she does it by dancing in a way. It's slightly different from like twerking. You know twerking where you bend in half and just shake like your little baby making area while staring at the floor in sadness and shame? You know that dance? <laughs> it's like that. But Beyonce does it like a slight distinction. She dances like you're gonna sit on a dick and rip it off. You know that one that she does? That's a great one for me. Now, oh, let me help you, let me help you. This is just down, step one, and then straight off as quickly as you can for the viewers at home to learn. That's a powerful dance. There are risks involved. You could absolutely get stuck this way. Yeah, yeah, you will notice Beyonce has not stopped dancing like this since 2011. Oh yeah, yeah, this would not even be a show. This is just Beyonce queuing at the bank, just. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh no, what this? No, no, no. I can't stop there. <laughs> why? Because I am Beyonce. That's why. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's why she's always worried. Like uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. This has been going on too long. Uh oh. Uh oh. How am I gonna stop this? Uh oh. Oh, somebody kill me. I can't take it no more. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. It's frightening. Thank you very much for listening. Enjoy your festival. I'll see you soon.